deer. Go away. Hello everybody, Chris here. Off to the bike shop. Final step of the repair of my old ninja here. Get new tires. Go go there, order them. Did some research online about a good set of tires. People are happy with on this. So, heading over to Rizan in Middlesex to order me up the set. And I want to talk to you uh, about what hobbies are good for. You know, of course, they uh, keep you busy when you're not doing anything. Good way to spend your money. Uh, but for me, a little different than that. For one, I have a lot of hobbies. I do radio controlled aircraft, I do target shooting, and uh, tactical pistol shooting. You know, reload my own ammunition of archery, do tabletop miniature war gaming, computer games, do motorcycles, vlogging on motorcycles. That's a new hobby for me. So, I mean, I, I got a few things. But. I think one of the main reasons I do all these hobbies, it's really a type of therapy for me. I mean, I, uh, those that know me know that I've gone through a bit of a hard time last couple months, well, last few months. Won't get into specifics, but it's uh, it's not been good. And you know, when shit like that happens, you gotta have something, something to keep your uh, your mind off things, as it were. Because, you know, after this initial thing happened, of course, you know, family and friends were important. Help me get through it. But, uh, you know, they can't be with you all the time. You know, they have things to do. They have lives to lead. You know, they have issues to work through. So, that leaves me alone with, uh, my inner demons, as it were. So what do you do? Well, you find something to keep yourself occupied. Take your mind off of things. You know, let the wounds heal without dwelling upon them. And I do that through my hobbies. You know, especially like the shooting sports and stuff like that. You know, rifle shooting, target shooting, is actually a really good way to, like, meditate. If you, I mean, if you take it really seriously. I mean, I've gone down to the range. Don't turn in front of me. Thank you. I've gone down to the range with my bolt action. Now. I got a 30 out 6. Sat on the range with 10 rounds of ammo and have been there for an hour. You know, just for 10 rounds. I mean, it's just the focusing on the shooting. You know, getting that one shot just right. You know, really is like a, a zen type of thing. 
you sit there for like five minutes, you know, controlling their breathing, controlling their heart rate, getting everything lined up. You know, just for that one moment. You know, same thing with archery. You know, archery, when I'm shooting, I'm focusing on the very center of the target. You know, I'm also focusing on, you know, how my stance, how my feet position, my shoulders squares, my head up, my sighting down the bow correctly. It's a lot of concentration. And that helps. You know, it helps you get through things that are, uh, you know, life's difficulties that a little hard to get by. I think that's one of the reasons why I started motor vlogging. You know, it's another hobby, another way to to not worry about things. This is unstable, boy. I'll uh, talk at you later. What you're looking at, lady, but it should be the road. The guys with the bananas were looking at me kind of funny. Here we are in wonderful New Brunswick. This is the uh, Robert Wood Johnson Hospital. Basically, this entire fucking thing. It's like a labyrinth. If you ever try to get around in there, it's almost impossible to know where you're going. Um, okay. Really? They're hanging baskets. What the hell? Oh, crap. There's a game going on today. Go that way. Why is there a light here? Choo-choo trains? No, no choo-choo trains. Oh, parker right here. What the hell's that motherfucking dude talking to himself? <laughs> 